Our project today is a wooden doormat made from squares and dowels. Amy will help us with our how-to demo. The materials list for the project consists of 11 1 inch by 36 inch squares for the cross pieces, one 3 eighths by 36 inch square for the spacers, two half inch by 48 inch dowels to tie it all together. Tools required are a hammer, sandpaper, one inch finishing nails, drill or drill press, half inch sharp drill bit, and any type saw. Our mat is 27 inches by 14 and 3 quarter inches. Assembly consists of cross pieces joined together by dowels. We allow 3 8 inches of spacing between each cross piece. Let's begin cutting and drilling our holes. Cut the 11 pieces of 1 inch squares 27 inches long. Next, mark and drill two holes 1 and 3 quarter inches from each end and measure out 8 inches from each of those marks for the two middle holes. A drill press will work best as it will keep your holes lined up and straight. You can use a regular drill but be careful to keep the holes straight and centered. Holes should be in the center of the cross piece and drilled all the way through. Continue until all 11 cross pieces are drilled. Cut the 1 half inch dowels into four 14 and 3 quarter inch pieces. Cut the 3 8 square into 20 1 and 3 quarter inch pieces. Amy will begin to assemble the parts. Lay one cross piece down on a hard surface with the holes facing up. Test the dowels for fit before inserting them in the holes. If they seem tight, you will need to sand them until they slide easily through the holes in the cross pieces. Insert the four dowels into the holes. Lay the 3 8 inch spacers on the cross piece as shown and take the next cross piece and slide over the dowels all the way down to the spacers. Repeat the process until all cross pieces are in place. Then lay the doormat flat with the spacers in position. Take a finished nail and hammer one in each end of the cross piece as shown. No need to nail the middle. You have completed the project and the doormat can be stained, painted, polyurethaned, or left natural. This project will also be posted on our website at madisonmill.com along with our customer service info in case you need further instructions.